Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another Morales tutorial video. My name is Vasily, I'm your Web3 instructor, and today we are going to check the endpoint Get NFT Lowest Price for the Morales API. This endpoint gave the lowest executed price for a NFT contract for the last X days for trades paid only in Ethereum. So basically, we are going to get the information of the NFT which was sold at the lowest price based on this days parameter. At the end, we are going to have something like this. Let's put here a contract address. The default chain is Ethereum, but you can choose any other chain which is compatible with the marketplace. And let's click on get lowest price. And we got the actual information. This address corresponds to the marketplace address, the token ID which was sold, who was the seller, who was the buyer, and also the transaction hash. We can check out on a block explorer like etherscan and of course we can use any other contract address which is sold on the marketplace in this case OpenSea. let's try for another one get lowest price and we get the information as well so if you want to learn how to accomplish this keep watching because we are just getting started back to the api reference page the only required parameter we actually need is the address of the contract Let's put one over here. And then we have some optional parameters, such as the chain, by default is Ethereum. The days, which is going to be the range of days we are going to look for. For simplicity on this video, we are going to use 365, corresponding to a whole entire year. For now, the only market that supported is OpenSea. Let's click on try it. And the response we got is a response on a JSON format with a similar information I show you, such as the seller address, the buyer address, the token address, and more information we might find interesting or relevant depending on our use case. And we can accomplish this using several programming languages. And to this tutorial, we are using React.js on the front end and Django as our Python development framework for the back end. So I'm going to keep on the Python tab and let's copy the code Morales provide us. On my Django project, I already have an empty script called services.py. So let's paste the code here. And now we have to provide some parameters. First of all, we need our API key. So if you don't have a Morales account yet, this is the part of the video for you to hit pause. Go to morales.io, create your free account. And here on your admin panel, you are going to have your free API key. I'm going to copy mine, go back to the code and paste it over here. We have an example address here, which corresponds to the CryptoPunks. Just let's put another one here. The chain for now is going to keep at Ethereum. And the days, as I told you, for simplicity, we are going to look for the last year. But you can set up this number on the range you want. By default, if not input is given, the days value is going to be 7. And the marketplace, as I told you, for now, just OpenSea supported. So let's try if this works properly. On the terminal, I want to run this script, but first of all, be sure you have installed Morales with pip install Morales. I already have it. So now I can type Python services.py. And as you can see here, we got a response similar as we got on the web page. But of course, we will want to have this address and chain parameters to be something we can get on the front end instead of having burned code here. So I'm going to change this code and transform it into a function which is going to take the address and the chain as parameters. And again, as simplicity, we are going to keep searching for the last year. But remember, you can also play with this value and find between the last seven days, the last month, the last three months or whatever you want. Just remember the limit is one year. So adding here some addition, we have that function ready, which is called get NFT lowest priced. And as I told you, it's taking the address and the chain as parameters. Finally, for this script, you can see I have my API key here, but storing your API keys into your code is a security risk, especially if you're going to push your code to a code repo like GitHub. So I'm going to transform this into an environment variable. Now, instead of having the API key here, I have a file.m and here I'm storing my API key. You can just set up yours here. And if you're going to put your code on a code repo, just don't forget to add this to a git ignore. So now this script is ready to be used on the rest of the project. 
and I'm going to go to my project views. First of all, let's import that function from .services, import, get NFT lowest price. And here I have a empty view called get lowest, which has a request parameter. This request parameter is going to take both the chain and the address from the front end. So we can get those parameters using this request variable. With that said, we can say address equal to request.get address, but remember is with double D, and chain equals to request.get.get chain. As we already have the both input parameters this function needs, we can call it. So let's say lowest equals to get NFT lowest price, and we are going to send the address and the chain. But just to be cautious, let's not use positional arguments, but specify each one of them. So address equal to address and chain equals to chain. This response we got on the terminal is actually a Python dictionary and JavaScript is not able to understand this. So let's change this into a JSON format. So lowest JSON equals JSON dot dumps the lowest. And finally, let's return this JSON. And that's it for this view. Now we can get the view name. Let's copy this, go to the project URLs and set it up over here. Just remember you have to import the views from your application. So, but get lowest, views.getLowest. And as we want to use relative paths on the front end, let's also give it a name. Name equals to get lowest. Let's save this. And this is it for the backend. Now we have this endpoint called get lowest which we can use on the front end. So for the front end, the first thing we need is to add a proxy on our package.json pointing to our Django server. In this case, as we are testing this locally, we are going to use localhost in the port 8000. And also we need Axios to make that connection. If you don't have Axios, just remember use an npm install Axios on your project. So these two input parameters, the contract address and the chain are related to this params variable which also have the address and the chain. And this is exactly the variables we need to send to the backend. So here I have a new function called refresh NFT price, which is using Axios to connect to the backend. And as we just created that endpoint, let's connect to it. Slash get get lowest question mark. And the auto completion is good enough to understand that I want to send the address and the chain. So let's do it. Now, if everything goes well, I just want to have a console.log over here of the response we are going to get from the backend. So console.log of the response.data. This refresh NFT price function is already connected to this get lowest price. So let's give this a try. Let's open our console over here, set up here a contract address for the Ethereum chain and let's click on get lowest price. And here we got the actual response in a JSON format with all the parameters I showed you before. So now the only thing left for us is to take this response and show it over here. Of course, it's up to you which one of these parameters are relevant for you. In my case, I'm just going to use some of them. Back to my code, instead of just using this console.log, I actually want to use this set NFT price function, which is going to update this NFT price variable. So set NFT price with the response dot data. And over here, I have a new variable called rendered price, which is going to render a card out of this NFT price. And it's going to take the market play address the token ID, the seller address, the buyer address, and the transaction hash. So let's try this. Let's close my console over here. Click again on get lowest price. And boom, we got the exact same result as I showed you at the beginning of the video. And this was really easy because again, we just needed to use this small portion of code to connect to the Morales API endpoint, gate NFT lowest price, and the rest of the process was really easy with almost no effort. How cool is that? And that was it for today's tutorial. Don't forget all the code for this lesson is on the GitHub repo. So check out the link on the description. And as you are already here, click over here to subscribe to Morales channel, turn on the notification and also check out more videos. Thanks for watching till the end and see you on the next occasion.